Hey friends, it's Heidi. It's been a couple weeks since we planted those seeds, so I wanted to give you an update on what is going on with the plants. So let's take a closer look. So my setup is I do have some grow lights in addition to my south facing window. And I do have another rack up there. So everything is coming along pretty nicely. And you can see that, so these are cucumbers, they are starting to develop their true leaves which is a good sign. Um, these little really soft leaves are not the actual leaves that are going to produce turn into the plant. You want to look for the true leaves. Look at this little guy. That's in kale. So I also have my tomatoes back here and then in the white tray are the tomatillos. So what I need to do at this point is thin these out and what thinning is is you have to go and look in each cell pack I had planted multiple seeds per four square and now I need to determine which is the strongest most viable plant that's most likely to succeed outside and then I got to pluck out these other ones because they're currently competing in this teeny tiny little bit of soil for the nutrients in the water so this this one we're gonna pull out he fell over and then let's see in this one this one's really small there's a lot in this one I think this one in the middle he looks the best to me not too tall or too leggy and leggy means it has like a super long stalk because it's reaching for the Sun this one that one's really leggy so we're gonna pull all of these extra ones besides our friend in the middle and that will be the one that gets to go outside. Actually, this one's already developing a true leaf. We'll leave, we'll leave him. Everyone else is out. All right. And then let's see, the chives are good. Oh, looks like these are my chives and it looks like we have a a guest appearance so we'll just pull him out all right look at this a teeny tiny baby broccoli leaf so everything's looking good on these tomatoes I'm gonna do the same thing if you can see there's three plants in this one this one looks to be doing the best so we're gonna pull and actually I might try to separate these very gently and try to get two plants out of that one but for this one look at this crowding we got one two three four so we're gonna pull a few of those out we're gonna pull yeah those ones out okay on these other ones as you can see I didn't rotate towards the window and this one got really leggy so we're gonna pull him he won't do as well as his counterpart who now has all the nutrients in this soil pack and will get all the water and the same thing here this one it's really small and I think we could actually separate these into two I think we might be able to save these ones and I'll just move them into a different pack Otherwise, the tomatoes are looking good. I had one that did not germinate, and then <clears throat> also my poor celery that we originally planted first did not germinate. So in gardening, you win some, you lose some. And I think what went wrong here was on the fourth day, I forgot to water them. And so a lesson was learned. All right, I want to go out into the garden to show you the update on the lettuce that we planted last time. All right, so here we are in the garden. As you can see, these color greens are still making the most epic comeback from overwintering. We had frost, uh, 
I'm in West Michigan and today it was 80 but yesterday it hailed so we have very yo-yo weather right now but they are thriving I'm probably going to give them a prune and then I'll show you some new growth that's happening but I really want to update you on is the lettuce that we planted and as you can see we had germination now I did notice that a squirrel had come in here and kind of rooted out a few spots but overall I think we're gonna have some success this was one of the green leaf lettuces another green leaf and then I don't know if you can see very teeny tiny ours is the red romaine and then here is our spinach and then originally in this bed I had planted mint and then I thought better of it and I pulled out the mint but you can never really pull out mint so you can see here all this mint so I have some mojitos in my future which I'm not mad about all right let me show you the new growth that is this guy he needs a little haircut but look at that he's gonna make it who would have thought All right, so that's what I got for you today. Next time I see you, we are going to be transplanting the plants into the soil, into the beds outside. I still got probably about two weeks or so before I can safely do that. Depending on the weather, of course, I'm gonna be watching it very closely these next two weeks. Um, we're also going to get some radishes and beets sewn directly into the ground. Um, no need for those to be started inside. So I will see you next time and thanks for joining in.